Hello guys, welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, JSOC's back backplate for Steam Deck. This is the OLED version. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure if it's any different from the uh, original LCD version. However, this is the upgraded model with the fan cutout. So we should see more temperature drops. All right, so now uh, without the backplate, we are sitting at around 72 with the GPU and 75 degrees with the CPU. So let's get let's get that changed and see how it goes. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is to turn off the Steam Deck. Now we're gonna shut down. Gotta make sure that it's completely off for the next part. All right, now uh, we have to remove the micro SD card. So let's go ahead and do that. All righty, so we've taken that out. Now we can get started to open it up. So Steam Deck OLED has Torx screws. Um, they are T5, so let's just open it up. Uh, LCD has regular Phillips screws, so just so you're aware of. So I'm gonna leave them in place I can see them. There are a total of eight screws on this console. So let's just remove all of them. They are all the same length, so that's very, really has helpful. Uh, we're not gonna have any issues, you know, mixing them up or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, for the next part, we're gonna need a pick or something similar that you can get between the two parts. All right, get that part off. Alrighty, now we have it off. Now that we have the original backplate off, uh, we're gonna go ahead and install the new one. So this is how it looks. I did change the back buttons to a slightly bumpier one, because yeah, I do feel like it's more comfortable for me. But you have three options, so choose whatever you want, basically. All right. Now it's on, we just need to give it a little pressure. Make sure to get all sides. So we can see that everything pretty much aligns perfectly. The only thing I'm not honestly convinced about is, I don't know if you can see it, but the fan is not entirely aligned, so this little hole in the middle is aligned to be in the center of the console. However, the fan is a little bit to the right side of it. So it's a little bit annoying, but you know. Okay, so now that we have that off, we can go ahead and reinstall all the screws. So let's start. Alrighty, it's three down. All right, half of them down. One more here. More there. This one here. And the last one here. All right. 
this does make it feel better for me. I don't know if you can see it, but it's clickier. And the travel is basically the same, but I have to use less strength in order to press it. So yeah, I think that's honestly better. All right, now it's turning back on. Everything works perfectly, so I say let's just jump into a game and see how we're doing. All right, we are now on a Steam Deck. Now, let's just go and open up the game and basically see if we got any temperature decreases. So I can hear that it is um, louder. Obviously, there's no, um, I think there's no plastic. Greetings, Helldiver. The, fan the galactic anymore, war so awaits. you can hear the fan a little bit more. But I guess it's kind of offset by the fact that it's got it's running at less uh, RPMs. So we're at 4,800 RPM, and we're sitting around 61 to 66 degrees. And it's not rising. So we've dropped a good almost 10 degrees just out of this thing. I mean, I think that's pretty cool. So uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is, uh, yes, this, is, uh, this will decrease the temperature of your GPU and CPU. But this will mess up the Steam Deck's airflow. What I mean by that is that it was not designed to have this hole here. So... Uh, I have seen temperature increases in other parts of the system, such as the SSD. Uh, it's not getting dangerous, so it's sitting around 70 to 75 degrees, which is not dangerous. Like an operating temperature for one of these things is, um, I think it's like almost 100 degrees, so you shouldn't have any issues. However, keep in mind that this might have an impact on other parts of your system. So yeah, basically do this at your own risk, but if you if what you want to do is decrease the temperature of your CPU and GPU, this will accomplish it. So yeah, I mean, it is a good product. I mean, it's not expensive either. I think it's, it was $29.99. So it is a really good price, but uh, I don't know about the long-term effects of this. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this product, I'll drop a link down below so you can buy it. Uh, and yeah, uh, thank you and see you again next time.